here, so just normal. Don't let me go toward the table. Bingo. And don't let me go toward the table. Bingo. Now, I want you to arch your back. Keep it arched. Don't let me go toward the table. Okay. And don't let me go toward the table. Okay, way harder. Okay. Now, flatten your back against the table. Don't let me go down. Okay, relax. And don't let me go down. Okay, so when we let her be in her neutral, she gets so as to facilitate and be a good contraction. When we take her out of that, put her lumbar flexion extension, which is what she's not good at when we do our screen, everything falls apart. So now we're gonna go back and palpate so as, so nice and relaxed. There you go. Good. And so remember, as I am going down, nice and relaxed, we're getting tissue approximation. So is my fingertip directly on her psoas? Not a chance, never gonna happen. But can I get tissue approximation to get pressure on the psoas to stimulate contraction? We'll find out right now. So here, arch your back. Don't let me go down. Good. And keep it arched. Don't let me go down. Good. Easier than the first time? Okay. Now flatten your back. Don't let me go down. Awesome, very good. And same thing, way better. Okay, now let's stand up and do your, let's do your uh, extension again and see if that feels like you're hingy. Now does that feel like hinge fold in half or does that feel like you're getting reverse curve into extension? More reverse curve than I was before. Okay, now let's go lumbar flexion. Okay, good. Now let's go feet apart, uh, your back rounded squat and see if that feels more comfortable than last time. 